Hi, I'm Kaylee, and today is my booktube birthday. <laughs> Today is the 10 year anniversary of me making booktube videos. 10 years ago, I posted my very first bookish video. That is 3,650 days. I have been doing this for a decade. So for months, I have been thinking, okay, here comes the 10 year anniversary on booktube, I have to do something amazing to celebrate. This has to be big. So I came up with the idea to do a library challenge. The challenge is to spend all day at the library from open to close. So my library opens at 10 a.m. and I will not leave until they close at 6 p.m. I am super excited because today is the day. I've been planning this for months and today is the day we're going to the library and I'm gonna spend all day there. While I'm at the library, I also have 20 mini challenges to do, like little scavenger hunt type things all around the library. So I've got all kinds of little things planned for today to celebrate my booktube birthday. The best birthday present that you could give me would be to subscribe and then like this video and click on the little bell so that you are notified whenever I post a video and go over to Twitter and Instagram and Goodreads and Storygraph and follow me at all the social media places. In a decade of making videos, this is how many videos I've made up to this point. That's a lot of videos. It's like a lot. <laughs> The most popular video, the one with the most views that I've ever published in the entire last 10 years is the do's and don'ts of reading classics. That was posted in 2017 and it is the most popular video that I've ever posted. People really love classics, so I'm not surprised. This is how many Instagram posts I have posted in 10 years. And this is how many books I have read in 10 years. Over 2,000 books in 10 years. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> so I have a huge backpack full of snacks and every kind of device that I own. I have my laptop and my iPad and my phone and my Kindle and all the chargers for each of those. And I'm ready to go to the library. Let's go. We're on our way. <laughs> so I actually have quite a drive ahead of me because I've decided um, not to go to my local library in my little town because it is a very small library. I mean, we do pretty well for being such a little town, but our library here is only one room. And I don't know that I want to spend eight hours in just one little room. <laughs> they do the best they can, God bless them but I'd rather go somewhere where I have a little more scope for the imagination. <laughs> so I'm driving a bit of a ways to the nearest city, which is Savannah, Georgia, and I'm going to one of the newer branches. It's a really nice building with more than one room. So I won't get quite so much cabin fever being in the same place for eight hours. So I have been planning this for months and I've gotten permission from the higher ups in the library offices to come in and spend the whole day there and film and all of that. Cause I mean, if I just went in and spent the whole day at the library, the librarians would be like, okay, who is this creeper? She's been here for a while. <laughs> but I wanted to be sure that I alerted them about what I'm doing got permission from their offices to come in and do this. And they've been very gracious. They've been so sweet and they're almost as excited about the project as I am. <laughs> so when I get to the library, I'm supposed to check in with the library manager and just introduce myself. I've been told that the manager might wanna kinda introduce me around to the different employees so that they recognize me and they're not like, who is this weird lady? <laughs> so we're on our way. It's about 9 a.m. So I am expecting to probably get stuck in traffic on the way into the city, but I've given myself, I think I've given myself plenty of time to get there on time. The second that they open those doors, I'm gonna be walking in. But first, I think I might have to make a stop at Chick-fil-A. So that's where we're going now. I need me some chicken biscuits, okay? So we're off to Chick-fil-A and I'll check in with you guys later. 
Okay, we are here. We have arrived. I'm crazy excited. I need to like calm down, okay? Because you have to be quiet in the library. So like, I need to just take a deep breath and calm down, but I can't. So I'm here a little teensy bit early. So I think what we'll do is kind of walk around. I'll give you guys some shots of like the lovely exterior of this beautiful building. And I think there's a little park next door that I might walk around some too. And um, we'll just kind of look around a little until they open those doors. So there is a lovely park here with lots of beautiful trees. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish that I could spend most of the day out here. I, technically, I would still be on library property, but it's too hot. It's only 10 a.m. and it's already like 10,000 degrees out here. So yeah, I'm gonna get indoors as quick as I can. All right, so I just checked in with the front desk and they were so nice and welcomed me and everything. And I let them know, you know, I'm gonna be here all day. <laughs> so one of the first challenges is to explore every section of the library. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna walk around and see where everything is. This is one of my favorite spots in the entire library. It's the entrance to the children's wing and it has a big door and a little door and I always wanna go through the little teeny door. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is one of the most special spots in the entire library. This beautiful tree is just growing right out of the ground and the lovely branches go right up into the ceiling. I just think this is such a special feature. It's a beautiful tribute to our state tree in Georgia. The state tree is the live oak. Here's something else that's really special. People have been bringing in little bits of yarn that they have crocheted or knit and they're yarn bombing some of the pillars. There's another one over there. And I think this one with a B is the cutest one. All right, we're gonna come back and we're gonna explore more in the children's section later, but for now onward to the other sections of the library. This is such a beautiful library building and I can feel my heart rate going down because I'm surrounded by books. It's like I'm surrounded by all my friends. I feel so relaxed, like just, I belong. This is my place. This is my home <laughs> and I get to spend the whole day here. This library actually has something really special. They have a seed library where if you wanted to start your own garden or if you just wanted to try out some different types of plants or vegetables, you could check out seeds to borrow. I don't think you bring them back, but what an incredible resource. You could start your own garden and you don't even have to pay for seeds. You could get them from the library. You just never know what might be available at your local library. I mean, I never would have imagined that you could get seeds at the library. That's just so wild and random. I'm in the children's section sitting at a teeny tiny table um, because I've just been learning about who can get a library card. September is actually library card sign up month in Georgia. So most children who live in this area would actually be able to use their school library card and it would work here in the Live Oak Public Libraries as well. But if they wanted to, any kid could get their own library card. There is no age limit. I have a bunch of brochures and stuff that the lady at the front desk gave me to teach me about all of this. They have all these different apps for learning resources and eBooks and magazines and TV shows and movies and all kinds of stuff. You can even go on Mango Languages and learn another language. There are just so many resources available with your library card. I also found out that right here at the front desk, you can actually check out a Chromebook or a hotspot. What an amazing resource for people who might not have online access or they might need to do homework or write a paper or write a resume or whatever it is, you know, and they could actually get a Chromebook from the front desk and check it out and take it home. In addition to all these resources, you can even get a park pass at the library. So you could actually go to a national park for free or at a discount just using a pass that they give you here at the library. 
They also have passes to Zoo Atlanta and to the Jepson Children's Art Museum. They even offer tutoring if you need help with your homework. Just think of all the places that your library card could take you. So I have finished the challenge to walk all around and explore every inch of the library. Maybe not every inch, but every section. And now I'm thoroughly worn out from walking all around and I'm on to the next challenge. First of all, I need to eat my Chick-fil-A. I haven't even opened it and eaten in it yet. And I'm hungry, so I've got myself a nice little nook here with a lovely table and I'm gonna eat my Chick-fil-A. And the next challenge I'm gonna do is to watch a library DVD. They have quite a big section full of DVDs of TV shows and movies and nonfiction and documentaries and all kind of stuff. And so I just picked one randomly off the shelves and of course I picked Doctor Who. <laughs> this is the Armageddon Factor, the Tom Baker years. So I'm gonna get out my laptop and start watching this and eat some Chick-fil-A. So I finished watching my episode of Doctor Who and I have completed the challenge to watch a library DVD. So now I'm in the audiobook section and I'm gonna do the next challenge to listen to an audiobook. And then another challenge is to listen to a library CD. So I'm also gonna find some music in this section to listen to as well. So I found myself a quiet little nook to sit down and listen to Wee Willie Winky by Rudyard Kipling. Thankfully it's a short story, so it shouldn't take me too long to listen to this one. I just finished listening to Wee Willy Winky by Rudyard Kipling, such an adorable short story, and it was only like 20 minutes, so now I can continue on with some more challenges. I looked all around the library and I couldn't find any music CDs anywhere, but apparently they don't even have that section anymore. They said that most people don't really listen to CDs anymore, and when they are returned, then they're damaged and stuff, so they've just completely done away with that section. They do still have audiobooks on CD, but they don't have any music CDs, so unfortunately, I can't do that challenge. Our next challenge is to read a book from start to finish, and so I'm here in the manga section to choose something that I can quickly read from start to finish. So I did find something I wanna read. I really wanna read Spy Family, but they don't have the first volume. They have like volumes two through six. And so I think I'm just gonna to have to look elsewhere to try to find something to read all in one sitting. I'm just not seeing anything here that's like really catching my eye. Now I'm gonna look through the graphic novel section. There has got to be something here that will spark my interest. All right, I found a graphic novel about music. It's called Operatic. So this sounds really interesting. Of course, because I'm a musician, then naturally this one caught my eye. Let's get to reading. I'm in the middle of reading Operatic and really enjoying it. And guess where the characters go every Saturday? they go to the library, so I'm in good company. I just finished reading Operatic and I really enjoyed it. It was just this wonderful exploration of what music can mean to different people, so it was really lovely. And now onward to the next challenge. One of my challenges is to walk 5,000 steps in the library. I've already done about 3,000 steps just walking around and seeing where everything is, but I think I'll do a little bit of walking and some browsing and get in a few more steps. My next challenge is to read the Bible. I actually ran out the door so quickly this morning that I didn't get a chance to do my morning devotions. So here I am in the religious section and there are quite a few different Bibles, a Catholic study Bible, a New Interpreter's study Bible, and the MacArthur Bible commentary. But actually there's one that caught my eye, bad girls of the Bible. <laughs> I might, I might just skim through this a little bit for a few minutes. 
but I do want to read just a psalm or something like that to be for my daily devotional as well. I skimmed a few pages of this one and I'm not sure the writing style is really for me. It's just very sarcastic and like, I don't know, it's just, it, it kind of, it's not for me. <laughs> I'm sure it's lovely and it looks really fun, but the sarcastic writing style was just kind of like, what? That is not my style, I guess. So I just grabbed this New Jerusalem Bible and turned to the Psalms and I'm just gonna read a Psalm. Our next challenge is to find a book with beautiful art. And I've always super loved Norman Rockwell. <laughs> Even when I was a kid, I just, I don't know, there's something so attractive and so adorable about Norman Rockwell's art. So I think I might just take a peek in here and kind of look through some artwork in this one. I'm here in the biography section to do the challenge to take a book face photo and I found one that I think is a little bit funny. There's my face. <laughs> of course I'm wearing glasses so it doesn't really work. <laughs> Jonathan Swift never would have thought he would be the one that I would do a book face photo with. Okay it is two o'clock. I have now been here for four hours. The time has just flown by. <laughs> time flies when you're having fun and there's still four hours left to go. I need to get some of these challenges finished. My next challenge is to learn something about the history of libraries. And so I'm actually in the biography section looking at the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin who is generally credited with having started the first public library in the United States. And it's kind of interesting what he says. He says, I now set on foot my first project of a public nature, that for a subscription library. These libraries have improved the general conversation of the Americans, made the common tradesmen and farmers as intelligent as most gentlemen from other countries and perhaps have contributed in some degree to the stand so generally made throughout the colonies in defense of their privileges. That's what I love about libraries is anyone can educate themselves when they have a library. Ben Franklin knew that libraries are important. Our next challenge is to find the oldest edition of any book in the library. And I'm in the reference section. I got help from one of the library employees to help me kind of look around and try to find something that was the oldest thing that we could find. So we found a general introduction to Domesday Book. So apparently this is some kind of records from England um, from the close of the reign of William the Conqueror. I have no idea, but this is from 1973. And my favorite also from the 1970s is Famous Georgians. So this is a book that talks about famous people from Georgia. So now I can check that challenge off. The oldest edition that I could find in the library. This might not actually be the oldest editions here, but these are the oldest ones that I was able to find. The next challenge is to find a book in a foreign language. So I'm in the very small foreign language section. <laughs> kind of wish it was a little bit larger, but I see right here, Little Women in Spanish, <laughs> which I've actually been trying to read through for like the last year and I've just been really lazy and haven't read through it. Maybe if I had such a beautiful edition like this, that I would actually read the rest of Mujercitas. Just to make sure that I'm doing a thorough job, I have come over to the children's section where they have, again, a lamentably small section for foreign language, but I do see Harry Potter in Spanish. <laughs> this actually gets me inspired. I really want to read Harry Potter in Spanish or maybe listen to the audiobooks in Spanish. I think that will have to be my next big foreign language project. I also see some American Girl books in Spanish, so that is absolutely delightful. Oh my goodness, I might actually have to sit down and read this one because I do love Josefina. The next challenge is to read a book that is on display, and I think this one has caught my eye. The story of Fred Rogers. I loved Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood when I was a kid, and this will be an easy one to read really quickly. The next challenge is to randomly choose a book off the shelves without looking, and then you have to read it. So I'm just gonna get something here. What is it? Emma and the Blue Genie. Oh, and it's by one of my favorite authors too. So perfect. <laughs> All right, and it looks pretty short. So, oh, and it has illustrations. So I should be able to finish this today. 
So as I have been wandering through the stacks, one of the library employees that I asked help for before to find out like what's the oldest edition in the library, they came running up to me with a book that they found that is older. They said they've taken it now as a personal challenge <laughs> to figure out what book is the oldest edition in the library. I can't believe how helpful and kind they are. I mean, that's just librarians. They are superheroes and they take their jobs very seriously and they are here to help you no matter how how insane whatever it is that you're looking for may be. So this is the book of Halloween entertainments and it's from 1944. So I wonder what kind of Halloween shenanigans and funny stuff is going on in 1944. Oh, hang on, this is a play. This is actually a theater play. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. So there are some short plays in the beginning. So like if you were having a Halloween party, you could all get together and put on a fun little play. And then there are some poems and what are called novelties. So like little games that you could play. So this is everything that you need to have a fun Halloween 1940s style. <laughs> I'm so glad that they found this for me. This is so cool. Our next challenge is to leave some little notes in some of my favorite books saying, this is one of my favorite books. I hope you're enjoying it too. So I'm gonna go around and find some of my favorites and slip a little note inside for the next reader. Persuasion by Jane Austen. Bleak House by Charles Dickens. Of course. Oddly enough, I found the section for J.R.R. Tolkien, but The Lord of the Rings isn't here. It's like The Fall of Gondolin and The Book of Lost Tales and The Lays of Beleriand and The Story of Calervo, and I don't see Lord of the Rings. I just found this gorgeous edition of Ivanhoe. Ooh, look how pretty. It has golden, golden pages and we give it a little note. And now I'm in the mystery section and I found Agatha Christie's The Man in the Brown Suit, which is my very favorite Agatha Christie book ever. I hope somebody else enjoys this one too. Another favorite mystery series is the Aunt Dimity series by Nancy Atherton. And I'm gonna put my little note into Aunt Dimity and the Village Witch. And just a few months ago, I finished reading Jane and the Ghosts of Netley by Stephanie Barron. This is a Jane Austen mystery series, so this one definitely gets a note. I only have one more note, so who is going to get it? I'll have to browse around and see what else I can find. I was looking for Alexander Dumas' Count of Monte Cristo, but I don't see it, so I'm just gonna put it into 20 Years After, which follows the Three Musketeers. And that's it, another challenge is finished. I just got a little buzz from my um, pedometer telling me that I have walked my 5,000 steps. I have just been walking around so much that I have easily done those steps. And so that challenge is finished as well. nieces are here with me. They came over to visit because they knew I'd be here all day long. So we're going to get to visit for a while and read some books together. And I have a special challenge for us to do. We have four bookmarks that we're going to hide in our favorite books in the children's section for the next reader to find this special bookish gift. Whoever checks out the book after us, whoever reads the book after us, then they get a special bookmark. So you get two, here you go, you can do these two, and you get two. Are we allowed to? Yeah, we're allowed to. <laughs> That's a good question. We're gonna go pack these in some very good books, and we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick what page I wanna put the bookmarks in. Okay, First, good idea. we'll let you look at all the bookmarks. Okay, let's go. Okay. The books, from the books. I have to the one. First, I'm going to show you this. Okay, First, back up a little bit though. You're too close. And this part.
I'm a big fan of sea turtles, so I might, for my birthday, get a sea turtle pet or anything, so I love sea turtles. Winter penguin wrecks the winters because they like to be, they like to slide in the snow some. For this one, I want to find like a musical, like like a book about music. Hair out. Don't do that. Oh, and you're cutting your ears off. I have to cut her whole hair off. Bye bye. I'm going to sleep. Uh oh. It's yeah. just me that's here. Uh oh. Okay. I'm going to my house too. But there's another people. Oh, yeah. Some people coming. No. No. I am the fire. Whenever you need fire. I'm what? here. This isn't as easy as this book. So. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sinking in deep, deep water. <sighs> Oh, I'm just joking. I was five, okay? And then I turned six, and now I'm in first grade, okay? And this is one of my grades. So we're gonna read it. I got this one. That's my sister's. This is my sister. Emmy, wave. And I'm doing this thing because it's, um, it's and it unparts and closes in sometimes and opens up. This one was just picking up by nine. <laughs> by Tia. Tia yes. picked it out. Yes. We're going to go get some board books. I have many paper cuts on my fingers. We're gonna go find some board books because she said when she got paper cuts, there was blood everywhere. So we need board books because they have hard pages where we don't get paper cuts. Let's go. There's lots of many animals, like, oh, books about animals, so much that God gave us, so why don't we just look around the whole library and find the books that we want to read and to find some animal books that we can read. Sounds good? Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm gonna read you a book. And this is a book. Frog and Toad. I'm not sure if I can read it, but I'm gonna try. One knocked at Toad's door. Toad, wake up, he cried. 
We're in the music section because one of the challenges is to find some piano sheet music and take it home and play it. And so my niece has helped me to find a book of Johnny Mercer music, which Johnny Mercer actually lived in the Savannah area. So he's kind of a beloved Georgia icon. And then I also found contemporary Christian songs and hymns for weddings. And as a pianist, I do end up playing piano for a lot of weddings, so I figured We've got two of them, ha ha. We found ourselves a little bench to sit on with some lovely sunlight coming through. And we went over to look at the foreign language section again. And she helped me to find The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and The Hound of the Baskervilles, both in Spanish in these really cool editions. And so this is gonna be the challenge to check out a book and take home, except it's two of them. <laughs> so I'm doing some of these challenges twice. <laughs> That's it. We finished our challenges. We're done. And it is five o'clock. So I still have an hour to go. So I still have a little bit more time to just sit around and read and just enjoy the library because I've finished every challenge for yeah, today. First, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick a, I'm going to pick a book. You're going to pick a book too? And I'm okay. going to read it myself. No one else is going to read it. Okay. You read it yourself. Well, my nieces are gone and I already miss them, but it was so wonderful to be able to spend some time with them and read together and just play together. So there's only about an hour left. It is like five, 10 or something like that. There's less than an hour left. So I found myself a little nook in the children's section. I still have some reading to do. I still haven't read this one. So I've got a little bit of reading to do and then the day will be over. It's gone by a lot faster than I thought it would. I just had so many challenges to do that I was busy all the time. I have barely, really barely had a second to sit down. I've just been exploring and just having so much fun. So now I'm gonna get a little bit of reading done. I just had a lovely chat with the library manager. She came over and talked to me and asked me how things have been going. And I got to tell her how much fun I've been having and how helpful the library staff has been. They're just lovely people. I mean, librarians are superheroes and they're just such sweet people. So it was really nice talking to the library manager and kind of explaining to her some of the challenges that I've been doing and all of that. I'm telling you guys, Libraries are magical places, and the people who work there must be wizards and magicians. <laughs> Back to my reading. One of the fun things about this library is that when you check out a book, they tell you at the bottom how much you saved by borrowing the book or DVD or whatever it was from the library instead of purchasing it. So I've added up everything that I've saved today. And today I saved $185.55. It just makes sense to use your library instead of purchasing stuff. I feel kind of proud of myself. I really saved money today. So there's only 10 minutes left until the doors close. And so I'm just kind of wandering around, just waiting out the time. But of course I'm seeing a bunch more books that I want. So this is part of the New York Review children's collection, The Dormant Repose. And I'm very tempted, but I just, I already have books that I'm taking home. I already have a million books I need to read at home. So I think I'm just gonna put this, you know, on my someday TBR. And then this one caught my eye, Castle of Shadows. It looks like a very cool cover. And so I'm just, I'm torn. Stop looking at things because now I just wanna read everything. There's only 10 minutes left. You can't keep grabbing stuff. Seriously, it's like stuff is just keeps jumping out at me. So this is Easter Bunny Mund and the Warrior Eggs at the Earth's Core. I mean, just what? That's an insane title. That sounds insane. The Easter Bunny and the Warrior Eggs. So I'm not getting it though. I'm not getting anything else. That is the rule. Okay, I am heading out the door. I am walking away. I am not looking at any more books. I just can't. So goodbye children's section. Goodbye library. 
thank you for a wonderful day and I'm walking out these doors. It is six o'clock and I am done. Okay, we did it. I walked out the door right at six o'clock. <sighs> I did it the whole day. I can't believe how quickly it went by. It really went by fast. It did not seem like eight hours at all because I was so busy doing all those fun challenges the whole time. One of the challenges that I didn't get to do was like a mystery book that, um, you know, is like wrapped up in brown paper and on the front it says, you know, sci-fi with aliens or something like that. It tells you what it is. So I didn't get to do that because they didn't have that. So, oh boy, the sun is right in my eyes. Anyway, I'm blind. Um, yeah, I didn't get to do that challenge because they didn't have anything like that. But I think pretty much every other challenge, oh, and then they didn't have the music CDs. So I didn't get to do that one. So I did 18 challenges today. I think that's pretty good. And away we go. We are done. What an incredible day. That was just so fabulous. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Oh, get to hang out, surrounded by bucks, 24 seven. Well, for eight hours, you know. I am completely exhausted. I must have done like 8,000 steps all over that library, just all over the place. So I'm gonna go home and get some dinner and just relax. All right, I'm home now, and the very first thing I wanna do is try out some of the sheet music that I checked out from the library. So we're gonna try some Johnny Mercer. <laughs> day. I am exhausted. I had a wonderful day today. I came away with a nice stack of books from the library. Thank you for coming along on this adventure with me. Please do leave me a comment down below and let me know what is one of your favorite things about your local library. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.